saw your ship come in. Nice ride. I'm on tax duty tomorrow. Do appreciate that huh. every well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? Under to build I hadn't city. expected to run into you again. This tree is far too grand for such a fate. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Yes, and not just humans. All organic life will be affected. Low-frequency vibrations are not uncommon in this species. The vibrations help disperse nutrients throughout the tree. However, normally, the vibrations are imperceptible. If the vibrations continue to increase in frequency and strength, prolonged exposure could lead to harmful and potentially deadly side effects. It's imperative we find a way to correct this. There is data regarding other younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek. As research, I believe, could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far, he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Oh, thank you. At last I knew, he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process. Mind your step. Important research happening here. <sighs> Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Trees? Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Wait, really? 
Wow. Okay. Okay. I share this surprise. You are willing to entertain this? I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Sorry, that's not on the table. There is, and I already explained exactly what it is. Advancing my career is the right thing to do, so that's what I'm focused on. I just want to make a name for myself, you know? I'm sure you can understand. Okay, look. Look, just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary, I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. If we keep running into each other like this, you might as well be put on the mast beat roll. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. That he is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. The data on this slate could very well be crucial. Lot... Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Ready for action, Captain. You have quite the talent for reading people's current mood. Hello, Captain. Form. Comes with the territory, I suppose. Care to share your troubles? I am concerned with how the rest of Constellation perceives my presence. 
regardless of how I present myself. I feel as though they're looking at me. Hi, Captain. Good to see you. If that is truly the case... What can I do for you? Got anything you need to offload? Looks to me like you've already in... I'm sure you can find something you like. Diplomatic visa? You got to be kidding me. Invoice haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. The law's the law, sir. And that one. You will be scanned as you enter the city, please. Of course, the United Colonies is paying close attention. Maybe hey, something no, escaped um, their notice. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. Housing, still have questions? Go ahead and ask. Let me know if you have any questions.
I... of things I wish I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. My thoughts precisely. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, 
the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly, no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. that statue pleasing. I wonder if it matches the original vision of the artist, or if they changed the design as they were. to contact someone direct. We don't get very many visitors here. It really makes the day fall by. Got a call? Someone's power kept going out? If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. Yes? Here, I have something for you. Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or... well, whatever. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you.
Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. Welcome to UC Distribution. So yes. Uh, uh You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. Thank you. 
I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. Well, you're back. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I do not know Barrett as well as Sam, but he seems quite confident in his abilities. And not without cause. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up. And both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? It seems fitting that you were the one to discover it. Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? It is hard to argue, but the implications... I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you alright? Have you felt any... side effects? A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. The artifacts, that temple, this... new <laughs> ability you have acquired... Clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about... what is at work here.
hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more, feel free to scavenge around. Only managed to scrounge up one so far. I'm sure there's more around. I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. This is the personal log of Lynn's amazing right-hand man. That's me, Helen. Another day, another giant rock. The rock currently in question is Vectera, which is... Eh, it's a moon. It's in space. It's got ore. Like the last hundred. Unless you're me and can appreciate the beautiful distinctions between neodymium, vanadium, and iridium. I love these clowns, but most of them can't tell iron from lead.
have jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of... My contract's up with Argos, and... Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later.
any adventure you can fly away from. Is, is that how the saying goes? Have my yet. attention. That is all. Very well. Any postings available yet, Captain? Can I help? Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Hmm. I find that to be rather surprising. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? I know, and I feel terrible that I can't provide you with the proper reassurance. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Perhaps that's true, or perhaps you were simply quite lucky. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. As far as constellations concerned, you're the first human we're aware of that's ever encountered one of these places. Now, whether you consider that lucky or not, that's another matter entirely. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere. Indeed, a mystery that I'm, well, hopefully both of us, are determined to solve. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end-all be-all of scientific discovery. The pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this, whatever it is, unharmed. Well, yeah, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. I have something I need to discuss with you. Oh, come on, Sarah, not this again. Barrett. I'm telling you, there's Keep no point in setting up that wager. Better than Jake's? Better than Madame Sauvage's place in Neon? Better than anywhere, hands down. All right, look, you want to throw your money away, I'd be happy to take it. Otherwise, let it go already. Something you need? Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. <laughs> of 
Now that you mention it, you're probably right. Either way, we logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. Honestly, it wasn't so much what Aja and I discovered in our travels. It was the journey that was memorable. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, <laughs> That's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go. Yes? Sure, go ahead. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and... That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to... Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I hope you got something up. Okay. Can't believe Barrett snuck a transmission to us. He always finds a way. Damn him. Something I can help you with, Dusty? Farewell. Ah, hello. All right, then. Hmm? Yes? You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... It's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. Right.
Search outpost U309 to any and all Free Star Collective craft. We are under heavy fire. Hostile spacers are overrunning our position on Altair 2. I'm not sure how much longer our outpost can hold on. We don't have much time. Private Mahoney, out. Places like this. I believe we are not alone. Just getting started. Ah! Don't
Once again, we are triumphant. What is it? Ah, yes, we are done.
think you may be trying to take a little too much on? Literally. He's a spacer. He's the one that cleared him out. Corporal Lizama. UC Marines. Medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... I'm... Oh. And meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. We've lost too many good soldiers and scientists to the spacers. But everyone here is stable and will recover. Assuming we can clear the outpost of spacers. I'm a battlefield medic, so this, uh, outpost? Well, it's luxury accommodations. What the heck are you guys doing here, anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. No. They've... They've been trying to take over the whole system. For months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CEO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor. Near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck.
I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no?
The scientists like here said, are good people. Someone's been taking out the space. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. I... I don't believe it. Are they all... gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Holy shit. The two of you did all of that. <laughs> sniper support. Indeed. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. She's... something else. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. But how? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... Up for it. We could really use your help. <sighs> and let's do this. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know.
And who the hell do we have here? Another scientist? No. Truthfully, they would still be pinned down if it weren't for them. Well, I'll be. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? What, the explorers? I didn't know you guys packed such a punch. Captain Myung, you see Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. The captain and all her marines. Well, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here, but it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Which means they won't drop the reinforcements right on top of us anymore. But there's too many of them, and only one of you. No, we need a plan. I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. They went dark not too long ago, so hopefully they are still survivors. Just go quickly and safely. The spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. I hope the research camp is all right.
Can't pass to be safe. Just go quickly. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. You and me both. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the... And I can't believe I'm saying this. The UC Marines. So... And this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Now that is something I was not expecting to hear. Roger. So first things first. The makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... You are something else. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. I don't think I'll be able to look at the Marines the same again. When the spacers broke into the outpost, the lieutenant went into full lockdown. The doors locked me out from right before the space. Thanks for everything. all these different is it not?
What does your scanner reveal? I've ever been in. These militia rats. They're better than I thought they'd be. Let's get this done. This ship comforting. Keep an eye out for hell. Yeah, what right? is it? Shut him down. Everything in the green. So... 
Craziest bar fight? <laughs> Three spacers got the drop on me. Flipped a table. Found a good use for a butter knife. Dull, but surprisingly effective. <laughs> I was on an outpost and then a predator burst in. It was all jaws and fur and spit. Everyone freaked out. Two shots and I went back to my sandwich. Nice, but still. Butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> you win this round, Andresia.